Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Sunday School. Today, we're talking about anger. We're in our fourth week of the Inside Out series. And so today, our scripture talks about David. And so David was the anointed incoming king, and Saul was the king before him. And so Saul was not nice to David at all, but Saul, but David was very good friends with his son, Jonathan. But David, even though Saul wasn't that nice to him, Saul deeply looked up, or David deeply looked up to Saul. And so in this story that we have, which is 2 Samuel 1, 1 through 16, it tells us about the way in which Saul died. And so there was a battle. Saul was wounded. Jonathan was killed in battle, but Saul was wounded. And a, a man came up to him, and Saul asked him to kill him because he was suffering and would have died anyway, but didn't want to lay there and suffer for however long he would have. And this boy or man went back to David with Saul's crown and said, um, in an armlet, I believe, it was something that was on his arm, a bracelet, I guess, and told David that that's what Saul had asked him to do. David was mad, very angry, had this man killed, even though he was doing what he thought was best because he didn't want Saul to lay there and suffer, and he was honoring Saul's wishes to kill him and put him out of his misery. And yet David went off on him and had him killed. And then this, we're pairing this with a psalm. And so the psalm for this week is Psalm 109. And in our Sunday School Bibles, it's, it's labeled as a psalm or a prayer for vindication and vengeance. So Saul or David is mad. And so one, he had that guy killed. Two, he like ripped his clothes off of him and was fighting with him. But then before he killed him, before he had someone else kill him, he didn't kill him. But then the psalm is like, everybody that's done something against me, Lord, you can do something to them. It's this constant battle of like they're going back and forth saying that, you know, may something happen to him, may something happen to him. Like just going on and on and on, like, Lord, do these things to him because I hate him. Vindication and vengeance, wanting something taken care of because that person wronged David. And now, <clears throat> I have to say that's not the way to be. There are times in our lives where I'm sure that we have prayers that we're like, God, you know, this person really hurt my feelings and they didn't do something correctly, they hurt my feelings, and I really, really am struggling to forgive them. And I just wish something bad would happen to them so that they can figure out how I feel and you can go on and on and on. But quite honestly, that's not how we should be. That even though we are angry, we are told by Jesus to still love our enemies and treat them as ourselves. Our enemies are people that, though they have done something against us, they have, though they have done something wrong, that doesn't mean that we should be doing something wrong too. We are not called to be that kind of people. We are ca called to be a loving people, a people that love God's creation, God's children, everything on earth. And so even though there are people that hurt us, harm us, do the wrong thing, and even though if you try to nicely explain it, they don't get it. Guys, you just need to realize that there will be a time when that person will realize that they've done something wrong, whether it's the next hour, the next day, or years from now. You will see that there are times when people will remember that they did something wrong, and that's for you too. Think about some things that you've done wrong against people or just against yourself and take the time to think about those things think about what you could have done differently and go on from here on out to do the different thing to do the right thing and so even though that we might just really want vengeance against someone think about 
what Jesus would have done, what Jesus is calling us to do, which is loving others in spite of our anger. I hope to see you all soon. We should be having a fall festival with the children's ministry on October 25th. And so we'll be helping with that, hopefully. So I'll put out some more information in an email. But hopefully you all can help me with that and help Miss Kim with that. But then we're going to have a bonfire as the youth after that just to um, have dinner and some s'mores and just to be able to have a community time together. So, again, I hope to see you all for that, and I'll get you some more information soon. And until then, take heart and remember these emotions and how they interact in our lives and within us and how we are called to be God's children here on earth. See you all soon.